Now, he's known as much for his anonymity as he is for his art, but a piece of graffiti discovered on a doorway has led to fervid speculation that the man, called Banksy, has paid a flying visit to Dundee. Here's Craig Miller. Banksy is known as a pseudonymous graffiti artist. To me and you, that means he's a kind of international man of mystery, and his graffiti isn't like what we see here. But could it be that he's been making his mark on the streets of Dundee? That's because of the appearance of this little man on a swing. It was discovered on a fire door at the back of the Brittle Bone Society's office in Dundee and has caused something of a stir. A few folks said perhaps it's a Banksy and of course that generated a good deal more interest. What do you think yourself? I think it's, it's very possible but I really wouldn't, I wouldn't know and I think perhaps we need to talk to an expert. That's exactly what we did. Enter Jonathan Baldwin, Banksy watcher and design lecturer. What do you think of this piece of graffiti? Could it be a Banksy? Um, my gut instinct is that it's not, but to be honest, I don't think it really matters. If people like it and um, are interested in what it's trying to say, then it's, it's a Banksy. It's not the first time that Banksy-esque graffiti has appeared in the city. This was found in a car park near Aberty University two years ago. It was thought to have been a tribute to one of the characters in the computer game Lemmings, but for many Dundonians, Banksy is an enigma. Is that the guy that named the Ken's what is it, is it? What Banksy? What the goalie? Gordon Banks? No. But Banksy is big business, and Banksy or not, the Brittle Bone Society won't be unhinging theirs to sell off. They don't think the great man would approve. Craig Miller, STV News, Dundee. That's it.